you know, it's great to see everybody again. Um, I guess what I'm going to do right now is a uh, reaction to the Tolkien trailer that came out. I'd seen the original trailer back whenever that first came out, but there's a longer one out now. And I gotta say, I'm I'm hugely excited for this movie, even just from the teaser that I saw. I'm a big Tolkien fan. I don't know if people knew this because I mostly do Star Wars stuff on this channel, but we recut this yeah. stuff to put it at the end. But um, I'm a huge Tolkien fan, and that's why one of the reasons I'm excited for this movie, and that's why I figured uh, I want to watch this trailer and see what's up because someone said you gotta check it out. The second trailer is great, so. That is what we're going to do. I'm Nicholas Holt. And I'm Lily Collins. There are the Take actors. a look at the new trailer for our movie, Tolkien, Tolkien. based on the life of the legendary author. We're Tolkien. so grateful to be part of this project and can't wait for you to see it on the big screen. Enjoy. Thirsty. Since childhood, I have been fascinated with language. I've invented my own. You invented an entire language? Yes. I made stories. Legends. Tell me a story. In any language you want. Tolkien! It's about journeys. The journeys we take to prove ourselves. It's about adventures. We should form a club. A brotherhood. Change the world through the power of art. Music, poetry. And what about Tolkien? I want to write something. It's about the magic beyond anything anyone has ever felt before. What it means to love. To be loved. Such language. I have to tell you, Mr. Tolkien, I've never come across anything like it. This is more than just a friendship. It's an alliance. An invincible alliance. A fellowship. Yeah, okay. I can't wait to see that movie. And on a separate note, Chuck Wendig, have you seen that trailer? Do you know anything about Tolkien? Do you know anything about anything? Chuck Wendig, get out of here forever. The dude is ragging on Tolkien. I really like the part, I can't wait to watch this movie, when, I mean, he's talking about his friends, they're talking about like, oh, this, that, and the other thing. What's Tolkien going to do? And they probably, I mean, they probably, I know. I mean, like, this is a movie where I know what's going to happen. And it's still going to be devastating because that's the thing with me and movies. Like I can know exactly what the plot is. I can read the script, but it's like to see how they bring it to life is the interesting part for me. Like a lot of times it's the truth is in the telling. How you tell a story, how you visualize the script is hugely important. So I know what's going to happen to some of his friends. And they were like music and poetry and that stuff's hugely in uh, Lord of the Rings. That's huge. Every other page, there's a poem or people are singing a song that's telling a story because that's how people used to pass down. And that's where he started. I can't wait. No, when that professor was like, oh, what did you do with words? I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, that's because if you're. I heard recently that the new Lord of the Rings TV show is going to be based in the second age, which is very exciting, I think, because uh, that's what they should be making it about. I heard initially it was going to be about young Aragorn, which would be a terrible idea. Not that there's nothing that you can do there, but you don't, I wouldn't make it. Well, and they're not. So but yay. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to that because apparently they're making it about the second age. If you know anything about Lord of the Rings, the second age, it's crazy. 
huge wars, like the landscape is being reshaped by like the insanity of these wars and like the level of power of people fighting. We've, or when Haldir in the movies talks about, uh, we've not had dealings with the dwarves since the dark days. The dark days that they're talking about is when like dwarves and elves were killing each other over these jewels called the Silmarils, aka, you know, Silmarillion and all that stuff. So if they're going into detail on any of that stuff, this guy right here is pumped. Uh, very excited. Bra bra bra. You know, um, Let's do it. Let's do it. And let's go see this Tolkien movie first. Uh, very exciting. Tolkien, he went through some stuff. And it's in the books, too. It's in Lord of the Rings. The themes and metaphors, the dead marshes, the haunted marshes, the, you know, they died there a long time ago. But are they gone? No, they're there and they're haunting. Um, and the ring and what it represents and what, oh, I'm totally excited. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> totally excited no very excited very pumped but you know check that backdrop out get a look see over at uh the bandana we got going on that's right oh check out check out gondor looking good yeah that's a map of middle earth uh i don't think it's meant to be a bandana but that's how i purposed it um <laughs> we got the uh aragorn's ring right there the Ring of Barahil. So you think you have found the heir of a seal? So you think you have found a seal to his heir? I don't know. I forget how he said that. I, I need to rewatch those movies clearly because I used to know all those lines by heart because that's how much of a huge Tolkien fan I am. Actually, I'm going to see how much of a huge Tolkien fan I am. But um, this is my copy of Lord of the Rings, or one of my copies of Lord of the Rings. Um, I like this copy because, no, nah, if you look at... Originally, this was going to be a channel about Lord of the Rings. So now, eventually, I'll try. But yeah, that's... Like, Chuck Wendig was like, I can't get through Lord of the Rings. But meanwhile, I'm sitting here, like, reading it again and highlighting stuff. Chuck Wendig's full of crap. Like, I always say, don't talk about something if you don't know it. And he's bashing an entire series without having gotten through the first book, apparently. A loser.